Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Arthur. Welcome back to Yoshi's Story. Hey, let's actually start the story, shall we? Our first story begins... In page one in the beginning. Treasure hunt. Alright, so every time you start a story, you're going to have to choose one of these for our lucky fruit. But it's given to you at random, so you press A... We got the watermelon. Watermelon is our lucky fruit. We're gonna start this story as Yoshi Green. And as usual, as I said, we're going to kind of uh, ignore all other fruit besides the one true fruit, which is the melon. <laughs> Coins aren't that important, but they are pretty nice to have. Here's the first thing of branching paths. You see, if we hold down while we're going down here, or moving along here, we will finally get that. These guys. These guys are teleporters. Here's, this is Miss Warp. You wake her up, and then she will teleport you between her sisters. This guy is a jerk. You have to ground pound. Then just either run around or... You can do that. <laughs> At these, just lick and you climb. Upon licking them, you get a little price. Oh. Forgetting the ultra important step that so you do have to knock him out first. So. Now you've really got to beat the goal before Chain Chomp gets to any of the uh, melons for you to get all the melons. So we got 15 of those fruits now. So we're, we're halfway done with the level now. Uh, just because we're collecting the melons. But now, you're gonna notice this is Miss Warp 2. Now we press down here, and then we'll enter this pipe, or this pot, sorry. Which will take us to another part of the level. This is Poochie! Poochie's kind of fun in this game. Because Poochie will lead us to special items. So if we follow Poochie, And this is a heart. So we gotta find all those to open the other courses on the next page. So if we pause, we'll be able to see if we found the one heart that's here. Really did not want to uh, accidentally trigger that.
Same with the down paths, if you hold up on a path. And of course that was just to get us another... And then this is another uh, platform. So keep following him. Um, So we only have to find five more. So we found three of the hearts. So we can now decide that we want to go You just check out your colors, it gives you more health back. So, this is just kind of the, uh... And then we get it. Then you do get to realize that that works. So we came from below. We're gonna actually go above this time. Just wanna make sure we didn't miss anything up here. It's not that imperative that we get the other levels right now because... I mean, we're gonna be going through all of them anyway. It's just more imperative that we get an event, if you understand why. Oh, wait a minute. I believe I actually might have all the parts. I believe there might only be three in each level. Alright, because you have to have the one by default. You have to have the one level by default, so... Automatically, you have to have that one. So we can down ourselves into this again. And if you recognize this... Then you might not be crazy, cause... Alright, so we're gonna actually just eat... Oh, 
I'm just gonna pop these and just eat three favorite fruits. It's not that important to get all the melons. It's just point wise. It gets you the best amount of points. I don't think points do anything, so. We got just about 5,000 points on this level, which is really good. Alright. So now, we got our celebration. So far, our page 1 score is 4901, which means our score for this story and our best score right now is 4901. And so the adventure began. The Yoshi set out to find the super happy tree. Poochie the dog helped out. Not even elephants could stop the Yoshis. So far so good. If they could stay away, or if they could stay happy, the tree would be saved. The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Well, it's always good that the Yoshis grow happier. All right. So you're gonna notice now that we have now we have the access to all levels. Like I just told, like I told you in the last episode, but kind of our prologue episode. Oh yeah, if you use the C buttons, or in my case, the right stick, you get to turn around the story book a lot, a little bit. But anyway. But anyway, as you get those hearts, they unlock the, the other levels. So we can choose any of these to do for the cavern. And that'll be fine. But we're going to be doing Bone Dragon Pit next time. See you guys then!